you there's nothing you can do trust me if they're not done with their work they're not done you just hey guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl agnes and welcome to my youtube i'm glad you're here if this is your first time on this page whoo -hoo, i am happy that you stopped by i'm happy that you came please don't forget to hit down below the subscription button alongside we have a notification burden as well a notification bell please click on that so each time i post something you get an instant notification from me returning subscriber what's up you guys have been great thank you all so much for the love and the support i appreciate every one of you i see all your likes your comments and i'm grateful okay so moving on to today's video it's gonna be quick and straight to the point so today's video it's about let's go find out let's go So let's get to the tease of today's video so today's video is gonna be a scrum video so today's video was a requested video from one of my subscribers on youtube and also one of my followers on instagram so the topic of today is gonna to be uh how do we handle spillover like spill like stories that were meant to be completed during a sprint and they were not completed okay so in the nutshell, how do we or how are spill stories, stories that carry over, how are they handled? All right. First off, let's try to try to let's try to define what spillover actually are. So in the nutshell, spillover is a team set a sprint goal. What to be completed during the sprint, but for some unforeseen circumstances, things might change, might be priority change in the future requirement changes coming from business side or you guys so during the beginning of a sprint you guys have your spring planning and you decide what stories to bring into the current sprint i would say active sprint okay and let's say at the end of the sprint or towards the end of the sprint you guys realize you're unable to complete those stories what is going to happen to those stories where are you going to put those stories are they going to go back to the backlog where you guys took out the stories during planning to the current sprint or you're going to put it to the next coming sprint let's say it's sprint one just got finished are you going to put it in sprint two or you're going to put it back into the backlog so that's what spill stories are stories are unable to be completed for many reasons okay let's talk about the various reasons what can happen why they can be a spillover okay somebody's calling me so let's talk about what can happen for a spillover to occur, okay? So a spillover can actually happen for several reasons, okay? Sometimes it might be because the team did not like estimate their work very well and maybe the story was too big to be completed in that particular sprint. That could be a reason why the story is moved forward to the next sprint or to the backlog. Or it could be because there were higher priority requirement changes and the PO came back and said, oh, this is what the business wants us to work on. This issue is really important. This new feature is really important. So we have to drop what we're working on and concentrate on the new stuff that have been brought into the current sprint. So those are the things that can happen. And there are many other factors too, okay? Maybe you had um, team members on going on PTO and you did not double check that. During planning, that's what you're supposed to be doing. But for some reason, it might happen that you guys missed out on some couple of things. Or it might be an emergency. A team member had somebody that was sick or a team member fell ill. Maybe their daughter fell sick or their child. They had to rush this person to the hospital. Unforeseen circumstances too can happen. Or it could be because they did not size the story well. It wasn't well estimated. All those things in a nutshell can happen while stories are being spilled over either to the backlog or to the sprint. Or to the next sprint and it's gonna depend on every team and a company as well okay it depends how you guys want to do it 
But right here, I'm going to explain to you how I have been handling it with my team when it happens to us. So first of all, when we're faced with like towards the end of the spring, before the spring comes to an end, we have a two-week spring. Some team have a one month, okay? So during the end of the spring, we start weighing like, oh, what stories are going to be closed and what stories are not going to be closed. And most of those conversations are carried out during the sprint review. So when you and your team sit and you guys talk about like, oh, what's going to happen? There you are supposed to know if you'll be able to complete all the stories or some stories are going to be spilled over, going to be moved to the backlog. But initially, by default, when you, the sprint is over, once you clo you're closing the sprint, the option that jira gives you it says send those stories back to the backlog that's by default it doesn't tell you to take it to the next sprint it just automatically understands that may understand that maybe those stories were not grown rightly or they were not estimated correctly or something is wrong so jira automatically uh defaultly asks you all to send those stories to the backlog in order for you guys to try to look at those stories again, try to re-estimate the stories, making sure that everything, definition of done is met and all those things. Maybe that's what happened, that that story was being moved out. So you and your team will come and decide where you want that those stories to be moved on. At, during your review meeting, be like, okay, fine. We've decided that we really have enough, enough sprint, enough story for next sprint. So we'll decide to take those stories and move them into the backlog. That's an option. And you guys as a team, you decide and find out the reason why it didn't work out. So that's when you take out the, that's when you move the stories into the backlog and then try to regroom the story. Maybe there are some requirements that were not made. You guys want to sit down and set a definition of done, accepting criteria, all those things back. Work on that story before you bring it back to a sprint that you're going to work on. You want to make sure you don't keep moving because if, there's a possibility that once you keep moving the, the story to different sprints, that they were not, they had like some features or some stuff were not well understood by team members. Trust me, there's a possibility that that story will keep going from sprint to sprint to sprint. So it's always good for you guys to take it back into the backlog. And during refinement, your PO, your BA, their fleet or whoever is in charge can try to bring out the story and you guys talk about it and add some light to it make sure that everybody's understanding reason why that happened but if it was in a situation where there was a change in priority and that story was not so important at that time management was like oh no we want this particular work to be done that's when you let go of that and you concentrate on the new stories that have come into the sprint in that way maybe the story was great you probably decided okay fine want to put it in the next coming spring and we're going to work on it because we're done with the priority work that management wanted us to finish so then you go pick up the story and then you work on that so that is how my team handle spillover every other team is different every company is different but the main idea of it is unfinished work that was carried over so moving forward so in the nutshell, I think every carried over story should be moved into the backlog just so you guys can look at it again and try to see if there's some things that were missing. You want to re-estimate that story. That is what I think it's better for everyone because sometimes there might be some things that were missing. I'm moving it to a current sprint and start working with it and then you realize that Oh no. And sometimes you might also, another reason too, that the story might be spilled over is because you might be dependent on a team's work, another team to finish their work for you guys to pick up your work. But the team, trust me, maybe their story is still in their backlog. They have not even started looking at it. You guys are on spring one, probably they're planning to pick up their work in spring four. You have to make sure you find out when exactly their work will be done for you to pick out. A story that you're gonna complete because if not trust me you keep moving it from sprint to sprint so you want to check you have all the details and everything intact before you try to move sorry before you try to decide either to put it in a backlog or to put the story in the next sprint that is just for sure because dependency have uh, happened every time okay it can happen that you were hoping for this work to be done with that or from the other team but yeah they were not finished with the work and that's gonna you there's nothing you can do trust me if you're not done with your work you're not done you just have to 
wait for when they decide to pick that work into their own spring and finish it and then you can pick up your work so always make sure you check those so if that's a situation i suggest you put it back into your backlog and decide when to pick up that work when the other team has notify you that okay fine by sprint four we should be done with that work by sprint four so you're planning that oh immediately they're finishing their work by the end of sprint four my team will pick up the work in sprint five so you want to put that work in your next sprint five maybe three or four sprints sprint five so you'll be able to finish up the work that way you don't take out another work having another spillover keep spilling the same story it means that's a problem so that was just all for this video hope i have answered your question and if you have more questions please feel free to drop uh your questions on the comment section down below i'm open to learning like feel free to add some points to this um follow up my who requested this topic so if you have any idea any other thing that you want to add i'll be more than happy to read that Add that in the comment section down below, guys. This is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to like this video. Share with someone who really wants to know more. And give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you all so much for sticking by with me. And have a blessed and a great day. Ciao. Bye.